It's another only in Tinmouth moment. <laughs> Let's try that one. Can you hear me now? Yay! Hey. It's great to be joined by ministers from across the town. Jamie here, Catherine, Marcus, Jane, and also David Bourne, our harbour master. We live in a really wonderful place. I don't know how many of you watched the Harvest Moon coming out of the sea earlier this week. <coughs> On Monday, it just lit up the sky with the light cloud cover. Tuesday, we were there watching again, and bang on the appointed time, in the appointed direction, <laughs> up came the moon. It makes me believe there's something bigger than all of us, and that's why we're here today, to recognize that and to ask for God's blessing on all those who work on the sea, who play on the sea, who live by the sea, the lives of all of us dependent on it in so many ways. And so it is, we're going to sing our first hymn, Amazing Grace. <laughs>
Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. <clears throat> and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. Them as one having authority and not as their scribes. Here at well, that is definitely one of my favorite parables, one of my favorite sayings of Jesus. I find great comfort in that parable. I find great comfort in it because it says when the rain falls. It doesn't say the rain might not fall. I hope the rain doesn't fall. Um, hopefully you won't have rain in your lives, in your work. It says the rain will fall. And when it falls, build your lives on the rock so that you may stand strong. You see, on a pleasant day like today, when we're surrounded by the warmth and love of community, when we're surrounded by those who just wish us well in our working, in our rescuing, in our piloting, we're surrounded by people who want good for us. But you see, on a dark morning in midwinter, when the fishing crew are up way before any of us are off, or when the lifeboat is called in one of those most disastrous of circumstances, or when the pilot boat has to bring in a ship over those really rough seas, or the ferry just keeps bringing people to and fro in those dark and windy and rainy days. Perhaps it's those moments when we need to reflect on building our houses on a rock. Our lives, if you like, are the house. The rain will come, winter will come, autumn, winter, the spring and summer does not last forever. And as I read this parable, I get great comfort because it encourages me to build my life to build our lives on a rock that is dependable, that is steadfast, that is eternal. So may you, in the storms and rain of life, may you stand strong when the rain does fall. In the tragedies of life, may you stand strong when the rain falls. In those dark and bleak moments, may you know the closeness of Almighty God, who will hold you through the wind and rain as you pilot people, as you bring people in safe to shore. May you build your lives on the rock so that when the rain when you will stand strong and not fall. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray for the world in all its beauty and richness. Help us to be faithful stewards of your creation and care for our environment. Give us the desire to share our planet's food and resources and to care for its people's well-being. Father, we pray for all the areas of your world which are torn apart by hatred and violence, famine, disease, or religious differences. We pray for an end to war and a deeper commitment to peace. And we also pray for our own government at this difficult time. We thank you for this community of our homes, friends and neighbours. For those who work hard to make this a special place to live. We thank you for the organisers of today's festival, for our local businesses 
and we pray for all who live here and for those who come here on, on their holidays. And so now we pray together the words that Jesus taught us as we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's me great pleasure to do this as a relatively recently collared person, having taught English and particularly poetry all my life. This is a great poem that many of you will know. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaking and a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn waking. I must go down to the seas again for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying. I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way where the wind's like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trip's over. Lovely. God has bound us long. At the beginning of creation, your spirit hovered over the deep. You called forth every creature and the seas teemed with life. Your son Jesus calmed the sea of Galilee, brought his disciples to safety, and filled the nets. Bless we pray, all who go down to the sea in ships here in this harbour, all whose livelihoods is dependent upon these boats, all who use the sea for pleasure, and all who seek to keep us safe. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you now and always. Amen. Amen. And now in a moment, Jamie is going to go and sprinkle some holy water on the vessels, as is our tradition. It also includes a little drop of water brought from the seas of Galilee, where Jesus himself was. And we're going to sing the seafarer's hymn. Eternal Father.
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless the you now and always. Amen. 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 Thank you all, and we look forward to seeing you next year. God bless you. Yay. Down by the riverside Down by the riverside What I want to know is who's grown it? Who's grown it? We don't really know. Wow. Isn't it fun? And how, you've got to guess the weight. Guess the weight. Have you guessed? Yes. What? Seven and a half stones. Rob, that's all right. No, you, no, don't. No, no, no. no. Everybody in. It's all right. Come on, John. Let's just do it. All right. Hang on a minute. with a will way hey roll and go soon we'll be driving her way down the